Happy Friday. Um, so anyway, today's the 3rd of February. Uh, we are going to uh, create an Autodesk Circuits account. So that's going to be circuits.io, about right there-ish. So uh, once you go there, you're going to get prompted to use a email address and make up a password. Um, if you already have a Tinkercad account or you've already taken like a PLTW class, it's very likely that you have an Autodesk ID already. So when you put your name in, let's see if I can actually get you to see this here. Yeah, let's log out and try it here. When you put your name in, what'll happen is it's going to tell you you already have a uh, an account. So anyway, uh, you got to do your your dealio here. And uh, let's see, I think I was born back in yeah 1920, pretty old. Um, and then when I put in, let's say my uh, school ID or my school, you know, email. It's going to say, uh, hey, man, that, that one already exists. Okay, so if you get that, that means you've already uh, done this at some point in the past, uh, your digital footprint, if you will. So what you would want to do is uh, get out here and go to uh, sign in, and uh, you can either take a couple stabs at your, uh, at your password, or, you know, you can do the normal, I forgot my password. You could be that guy, right? So, I recommend having a, uh, a junk password that you use on a lot of stuff, so that's what I try to do. This might take a second. Okay, so uh, here you're going to, there's all sorts of stuff. I hope you guys, you know, have a chance to look at it and play with it, but we're going to be doing Open Electronics Lab Hub, so click that, please. And then you're going to say a new electronics lab. take a second. Hopefully we're going to get a breadboard. A big breadboard. Alright, there's our big breadboard. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to scoot it on over here, because I'm really only going to be working in this region. Um, and then I'm going to add something that you know I love. Uh, an Arduino. So you're going to drag it on out here. And there it is. So if you click up in this open field, it'll make that go away. But... Uh, I might have gone a little faster. Whenever you're going to add something in here, you're going to click plus components. Uh, and I would stick to all component grid for now because it has a nice uh, has a nice picture tiles for everything. So uh, what we're going to do is we're going to work on an LED RGB, which are very cool. They are three LEDs combined. Um, so uh, you can actually hover over these and see what they do. Great time to review your chemistry there. Cathode means the negative. So uh, we got a red pin, which means if you power that pin, you get red here. And if you, you know, you got to ground that. And if you power the blue pin, then you get that here. And if you power the green pin, you get that here. What, what I encourage you to view this as is uh, mixing paint, but with LEDs, one LED. So uh, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to ground my Arduino or uh, to uh, the LED and we use black wires for that. Um, the next thing I'm going to do is run resistors. Uh, we have to protect our LED with 330 ohm resistors. So we're going to put one here and you change the value up here. And so now even the color codes right. Very good for studying your, uh, your your color codes on your resistors. I'm going to take another one. Um, the way this is right now, by the way, this color code is for one kiloohm or a thousand ohms. So I'm going to change that to 330 and just uh, ohms. And then I'll need another one. I'm not sure if you can copy paste that, those or not. That'd be nice if you could. I haven't had time to goof with it. But if you guys find that you can copy paste, maybe you can give Grandpa the heads up. That'd be nice. Okay, there we go. And then we're going to use, let's say, um, I'll kind of move these out of the way a little bit here so you can see them. How about we use digital pin 3 
for our uh, our green, we'll use like digital pin. Was that six? For our uh, blue, and maybe like digital pin not ten. I guess that's fine. Yeah, for our red. I'm just spreading those out so it's nice for us to see. We typically use blue and white for signal wires in my class. I'm going to use them all blue because I think that they would kind of get lost in the white background. So kind of nice that we can make all of these things the same as our equipment and lab. All right, guys. Well, that thing is wired up. It's wired up. Now, uh, this black line looks like it touches that one, but it really connects here. So a little sloppy. If you're concerned, you can always move it to see it. So woohoo. Okay. So code editor, you're going to click that, and this is already set up for like the blink sequence that you would guys would get uh, when it, it first loads in the normal Arduino. Um, but I think we should do a little better job naming our stuff. Let's call that red equals 10. Uh, the next one was going to, we're going to add these. Uh, int, let's call it blue, equals, uh, let's see, what did we use? Six, it looks like. Um, and then int or integer, you know, uh, green uh, is equal to, it looks like, uh, pin 3. Great. Now it's time for some copy pasting to make our lives a little easier. Let's uh, copy that, paste that, and then we'll make that red. I guess I didn't need to do all that, but uh, blue, green. They are all outputs. Oh, great. Now chapter one naming is done. Chapter two, the setup is done. It's time to talk about the loop. It seems to be being stubborn here. I apologize. So let's see if I can spread it out a little bit. There we go. You might have to goof with this a little bit. Well, this was digital LED, uh, digital right, excuse me, but this was red, and we're going to turn high, which means on. And right now it would stay on for a second, but we also want to turn on Let's find out what happens when we turn on all the colors here. Um, digital right, how about blue? And we want to guess what uh, color you make when you add red, blue, and green, because I don't know. I didn't learn the colors in school, I guess. Um, I guess I should have grabbed that. Let me just grab that line. And we'll put in green here. Conversely, we might as well grab all of this and change all of these to lows. And put them in right here. And we'll change high to low. Just kind of hopefully save some time. All right, let's upload it and see what happens. Well, I guess that shouldn't be too surprising. It's white light. It's all the colors. Great. Well, let's uh, let's see what happens when we uh, turn a couple off. A very easy way of, of kind of adjusting code is to comment stuff out. So you guys remember how to make purple? Well, let's get rid. Let's get rid. Oh, you got to stop the simulation to edit. Sorry. There. Let's get rid of green. Well, right there, we were turning it on. Down here, we're turning it off, so it'll just stay off, I'm pretty sure. So let's see what happens there. That's probably the easiest way to adjust that. Not the greatest way, but hey, there we go. So now our green, uh, our green is not coming on. Our red and our blue are coming on at the same time, making this amazing color called purple. All right, uh, so that's the basics, um, and we're going to go farther with that in class. So uh, happy Friday, and I will see you soon.